Hi there art friends. Today I'm going to guide you through a let's call it a surprise video. So the surprise video is just a little chat about art career or creative careers while I draw and play in my sketchbooks. Now for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Tanya and I'm an artist and surface pattern designer. And my career started in a sketchbook. It was by those daily small little habits that I created something I can be proud of. Oh, sorry. So often we get stuck at the bud stage, you know? That point where we just want to begin this career or just want this beautiful idea of a career that could come to the forefront. And then many of us, and I know I was also guilty of this, never step up and move beyond that point. So today, I would like to encourage you to move beyond your comfort zone. I know it's a nice place and I know you get to spend a lot of time with yourself and that is good but what purpose does that have? I know I also started art as a therapy to help me cope with a little bit of stress and also to maybe just hide from the world but when you reach a point when you discover that you love art and that you are falling in love with your art and the process then we need to move beyond that now i also have lots of experience with things like self-doubt and sabotaging thoughts and um, you know, that inner critic that's trying to stop you from creating something pretty and showing it to the world. And before you can't overcome those things, of course you'll be stuck and feel like you can't move forward or maybe that your artwork isn't good enough. But I can tell you now that in the surface pattern design industry, I have seen people make careers out of little doodles, marks and color splashes on their pages and you with your art have a unique voice that needs to be out in the world. Don't be afraid to show that and never be afraid to take on the challenge and become who you want to be. If you want to be a top artist, then pursue that dream. Never give up and don't allow fear to take a hold of you and ruin your dream. Hmm? The cat just decided to make her appearance. It's about time you came to work today. <laughs> My studio muse. Now, over time, you will develop your own personal style. And that is something so unique to you. We may all use the same brushes, the same paints, the same sketchbooks, but the types of marks and the way you interpret it and the way you play with those colors are exactly what makes your work unique. And that uniqueness is what is going to be your stamp of approval. You know, it's when you can clearly see 
that is a pattern you have developed and it's a sequence of marks and a continuation of marks throughout a time period and the thing I love a lot about sketchbooks is that you can use your sketchbooks to mark your progress so from that very first sketchbook you started with scribbly marks and you know trying to do faces or trying to draw flowers or just playing and experimenting and when you made those real Crayola colors or even mud like most of us do until you've developed something that feels unique you know some of us have these favorite colors just like I love pinks and burnt oranges and these deep vintage colors and then later in my art career I also discovered indigo and I, I just love bringing indigo into my work to ground those pinkish orangey colors and just had something extra and I would never have come across that if I didn't try and yes use your sketchbooks use the things you like drawing to develop your style and become your own true unique self If you don't have a clear idea of what it is you like to create or would like to create more of, then just look around your own surroundings and see what things you have in your home, what items you wear as clothing or maybe even your bath towels, napkins, upholstery fabric. The things you surround your world with, those are the things that you like. And when you can surround your environment with the things that is truly uniquely you and find some or other way to incorporate that in your everyday life, there is definitely going to be a little bit of your style moving through the essence of something you care about. Now, I know not many of us want to be aspiring artists that will show us stuff to the world, but if you've ever thought about doing that, now is a good time. It's the beginning of the year, it's nice and early still and if you dive into a course or a workshop or um, something where you can just find that group to connect with and make the type of art you want to fall in love with then I'm sure you'll be able to see what can be achieved and then build the faith in yourself <laughs> Because we often forget that we need to trust our instincts and we need to trust what we create and love that. Because somewhere out in the world there is somebody who is also going to fall in love with that. It's like when something is trending in the beginning, not everybody likes it. And before you know it, Around every corner, somebody's wearing that color, or the color pops up in an ad, or it's just visible and available. And we need to do that with our own art. We need to become visible and available and play with the things we love.
I'm going to join a free workshop tomorrow from my art mentor and service pattern design teacher, Bonnie Christine. And I've left links down below this video if you would like to join me. And the free workshop, we are going to discover some secrets that I'm sure are brand new because I've worked with Bonnie over last year's course and know that she always levels up and has something new up her sleeve. All right, so I'll take the rest of this afternoon and finish up my sketchbook page. And if you joined in, you can have time to complete that. And if you haven't started your sketchbook or a sketchbook page today, why not grab those papers and sketchbooks and brushes and paints and just do a little something today. Make a mark, make a little mark, make dots, play and have fun. We are so occupied with what's going on in the world that we forget to look at what's going on with us. And to make things really interesting, you can ask yourself, what was the purpose of today? Was it to relax, to create, or to learn? And any of these reasons would be a good reason to pull out those sketchbooks and do something creative today.
All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.